Okay, I'm back. Sorry guys, I think I have it. I had a bit of an issue. So we're back in uh, Portugal for uh, Tier 4. I've had a bit of an issue at, at the start. Uh, Portugal is a brand new track here. And uh, just came out this week. Currently Barry Kruger is in pole position with a 117.5. MNT Trucker uh, qualified on the medium compound. I think it's a smart move. Let's see what the others can do with only 3 minute 30 remaining. And uh, purple sector 2 for Lanzi. What can he do? And 117.6 taking P3. Great job from Lanzi on his uh, second lap on the soft compound. And Martinelli starting his hot lap. Goes a bit wide in turn one. Oh, that's not a fast lap there. Jump on Avok. And invalidated here. Queen's food saying, let's go! Martinoli with a purple sector one. Can he get pole position from Barry Kruger? Purple Sector 2 Entering the final corners
Opens up the RS and at 117.2, that's pole position for Martinoli. Can Barry Kruger answer back on a brand new set of soft? Barry Kruger in the final corner and I believe that was pole position no he's P2 so Martinoli lap oh so close so close between those two uh, a great qualifying session Everybody's on the soft except MNT Trucker. MNT Rocker. Uh, I think it's a great decision. R1 D44 will be able to start on the medium as well. Catsby saying MNT is in a very good position for the race. I agree. Norge Federico, damn that gap with P1 and P2. Yeah, man, really close. That's a uh, great driving from uh, both of them. Clear sky. I believe uh, tier four race doesn't race in rain anyway so we'll have the track on optimal weather so there's no formation lab this week because there was a few bug issue with the game uh, so we'll start right away with the five red lights I'm not sure why I can put the HUD. Here we go, race start. And three wide behind and a few guys going wide but nothing major so far. I think a few guys lost a few position. MNT, not sure what happened to him. doesn't look to have wing damage just let the and Barry Kruger with a strong race start already in P1 followed closely by Martinoli already out of ERS for Loba Martinelli used a bit more ERS than a Barry, but both have still plenty to pull a move. We'll have a DRS in the next lap, and Connor right behind Loba.
Jumping around, trying to find uh, some overtakes. Let's take on Lars. She looks uh, ready to try a move on Gord. Gord goes wide, giving the inside for Lars. But doesn't make it. Really close. He's gonna have DRS in the next straight. That won't be close enough. Ooh. Only four tenths behind. It's really easy to save up ERS in one lap in Portugal. Yes, I believe so. Some strong braking zone. Catching the slipstream from Gord. ERS open. Gets the RS while Gord doesn't. Gord concede the outside. It's gonna give the optimal line for Larsh, who pulls the move easily. Can he answer back? Take a look on the inside. But he's a bit too far. Well, the three guys in front already have a three second gap. Three second penalty for Bobby Valchev. I believe MNT had uh, some wing damage because he pit for hard tires. He's far behind, but now he's going to be able to see the race through completely without pitting another time, I believe. I haven't had the opportunity to test the every tire compound. Really close. Gordon Larsh still battling. Both are very low on ERS. And Connor had to pit for some hard as well. I think he's a bit too far from Larsh. Not sure where the DRS detection point is, but I think he missed it. Yeah, he did. That's gonna give the opportunity to Larsh to pull away with his ERS bank completely empty. And Gord won't have DRS in the next trade. Well done from Large. That's in front. Martinoli is now closing the gap on Barry Kruger. He got himself a three second penalty, I believe. Yeah. 
Almost half of the grid with penalties already after a lap six. And out of the DRS range. I think uh, Barry is pushing at the right time to avoid being cut. Three seconds for Loba, I think he is now at uh, nine seconds. Yeah. That's gonna cost him a lot. And uh, so far, we have Gord and Martinoli in the DRS range. Larch and Gord filled a bit their bank, but we're still quite low. I think this race will be about uh, penalty and because uh, so far everybody's doing uh, quite fine but the penalty could have a big impact at the end of the race. Nobody's within the striking range. We'll have the pit window soon. I'm uh, curious to see another penalty for Loba. It's uh, quite hard for Loba with the track limits. I'm curious to see uh, what strategy people will do. Were they gonna go for a two-stop strategy, a one-stop, trying to stretch uh, the soft tires and go for the medium or the hard? Um, I think you can do soft and medium. I think it's the optimal strategy. For a two-stop strategy, I believe we'll see people jumping in the pit around lap 8 or 9. So we'll see by the end of the lap if some people went for the two stops. Six second for Martinoli. Let's check the position change so far. The unfort unlucky one are MNT and Avoc who had to pit early because of a uh, of front wing damage. But it's not over. They still can. Uh, I think MNT uh, close that gap. It's a long straight for the pit lane and oh, Lenzi pit. Let's see what tires he goes for. 
art compound, so it's gonna be a one stop for Lanzi. Few guys are pitting. Bobby going for the soft tire, so he's going for a two stop. And so is Loba. Both going for a two stop strategy. While Martinoli is now just barely in the DRS range with a lot of ERS, he's gonna get DRS in this trade and goes in the pit trying uh, the undercut maybe. Martinoli went for the Ard, a one stop. He's gonna come out in front of Lenzi, I believe. Yeah, quite easily. Not sure if these guys are going for, they probably are going for a one stop. Now are they gonna put the hard compound or the medium in a purple sector 2 for Barry on a 10 laps old soft. He's got quite the pace to be competitive in this race. MNT with a 3 second. I believe his uh, rival will be Martinoli. And uh, the front runners are stretching the soft except for Gord. gonna go for the art compound I believe yes he is and Lanzi is gonna get in front of Gord with a comfort comfortable gap Three seconds for Barry. Let's check. So Martinoli is on six and he's on three. That gives a chance for Martinoli. And he pits will large pit as well. Yes, he does. And hard compound for Barry. And the medium for Large. And uh, 1.5 ish, 1.3, 1.2. So uh, they were pretty much where they were before the pit. Lars can have uh, an advantage with the tires now. Let's see if he can catch Lanzi. He's clean of penalty too. Those uh, those two are. That might have an impact by the end of the race oh 
TTV it's really close to RD41 I missed the move but he passed him let's jump back on the front runners They're both really close now. Both with plenty of ERS to do uh, to defend our attack. Lost a bit of time there. He's still within uh, DRS range. And Larsh closing the gap on Lanzi as well. He was on uh, 5 seconds. So he gained uh, almost a complete second. And there we go, Martinoli taking a look on the inside of Barry Kruger. They're both side by side. And he gets the job done. Can a Barry Kruger answer back? Yeah, straight away with DRS. Takes the inside here. Still side by side. For the fast right ender here. Great racing from these two. Martinoli, oh yeah, very close. It's a decent exit here. He's gonna have DRS. Should pull this move quite easily. And can a Barry Kruger benefit from the next DRS zone, like last lap? Oh, sorry. Missed that cell phone. And he won't be able to enter back like he, get, he did last lap. He is still within DRS range. Whoa, bit of a wheel spin here. Board. Got a position with Bobby Valchev. Another three second for Loba. And here we go, Barry Kruger in the straight with DRS taking the inside in turn one four tenths between the, the two I don't think it would be enough here for Martinoli to answer back but he's in good shape for the next DRS zone A 
very intense battle between the two exchanging uh, position almost every lap now let's jump on Bobby Valchev who's side by side with Gord oh they're touching a bit the fast right hander in contact is made Gord in the grass Martinoli is now 8 tenths behind Barry Kruger I don't think it's gonna be enough Barry Kruger with the fastest lap 119.5 let's check what so quite faster than Martinoli on that last lap both don't have much ERS left Let's go back with interval so I'm sticking with these two because it's the closest battle for a while now few mistakes by Martinoli almost out of DRS range he filled up his ERS a bit more than Barry but the DRS is gonna help him to stay within striking range and uh, the Alpine I believe it was Avox I think he spun It was uh, William, sorry. And uh, Avok is in the pit lane. I believe he had wing damage. Should go for the medium now. And another three second for Loba. 24 is really close to being disqualified now. And here we go, Martinoli. And still side by side. Let's jump on board Barry Kruger with the RS. Martinoli is gonna leave him the outside, try to switch back, but didn't have enough traction. So Bobby Valchev had to pit another 3 seconds for Loba. So only Lanzi, Larsh and TTV Hem uh, are without penalty so far. Let's have a quick look. At penalty situation, nine second for Martinoli, and while Barry Kruger is still on a three second, gets a easy overtake here. 
with the DRS. Really intense race for both of the, these guys. Oh, bit of wheel spin. Oh, TTV's on AI. That's probably a reason why he doesn't have penalty. I think he might have uh, had some connection issue. And MNT in P6 now. Great recovery from him. Another easy overtake and oh still on the inside and he's gonna have DRS now oh bit of a touch takes the inside oh wheel spin and no oh shit Bobby Valchev on fresh medium right behind MNT. He doesn't have ERS until the now. Will it be enough? Ooh. No, it wasn't enough. Bit of a touch. Push MNT a bit. Oh, and. And he spun. A few small contacts between the two drivers. And the closest gap is still in the front with a two second gap. Looks like Martinoli is closing in. Having a look at the various statistics here. I'll uh, leave the details to the penalty situation. Gonna give us a better look of what the. It's quite early to say, but the final leaderboard is gonna look like. Bobby Valchev had to pit. Yeah. Lost a few position there. He had to change his front wing. And Larsh now has his first three second penalty. Lanzi is still clean of penalty. And I believe he's closing in on the front runners. If he can uh, remain without penalty, he's gonna have a good look on uh, P2, maybe P1 if he can uh, close that gap.
good for Lanzi. I know he had some uh, unfortunate events uh, during the practice race this week. A podium uh, could uh, bring back his mood a bit. Martinoli another 3 seconds so he's now at 12 seconds of penalty. Let's jump on a Bobby Valchev right behind Connor fighting for a P9. Ooh, late breaks. Touching. Gets the move done. And Connor spun on the infamous turn. This one. So can Connor on the four laps old medium gain a position over R1 at the 44? R1 defending the inside. Oh, uh, Connor is slowing down. Is he out of fuel? I'm not sure what's going on. Well, let's jump back on Martinoli. The closest gap so far, he managed to gain a few tenths on Barry since uh, he went in the gravel. Purple Sector 3 for Martinoli. Let's have a quick look at the fastest lap. Yeah, he did improve his previous lap. Bobby Valchev will be in a... Oh, TTV is in the AI mode. That's true. So we won't have a battle there. Only five laps to go in the race.
pretty sparse grid. Not a lot of fight going on. And Loba is now at 30 seconds of penalty. And uh, something happened with the ass. There was a yellow flag in sector two. And Martinoli is closing the gap. But will we have a final battle between uh, these two? I sure hope so. Oh, TTVM retired from the session. He's uh, far from the track. I don't think we'll have a safety car. Not sure if uh, there's. I don't think there's even a VSC. And back to green flag for sector one. And Loba. Quite close to MNT. And fresher tires, too. Ooh, goes a bit wide there. Hey! Pulling out the elbows. I hope MNT doesn't have wing damage. Laps. Martinoli has managed to reduce the gap between him and Barry. And uh, Loba is now uh, disqualified. He got his final track limit penalty. Two laps remaining in this race. The front runners are still the closest in uh, gap wise, although uh, Martinoli is on a 12 second penalty, so that will uh, give the opportunity to Lanzi to claim. P2 if uh, nothing happened by the end of the race. Lanz is not close enough to Barry to claim a P1 though. Let's have a quick look at their fastest lap. Barry Kruger still holds the fastest lap time.
Let's have a look at position change for or a driver of the day. Who do you think is the driver of the day? Not a lot going on in position change. I think I would give it to Lanzi for keeping it clean. Very good race from Lanzi so far. Don't want to jinx him since it's the final lap. One last final push for these drivers. And Larsh now claims the fastest lap. He had to pit to get some soft tires. Gonna get that extra point. He had a, a gap big enough to allow him to pit and get the extra point. So uh, great thinking from him. And uh, Barry Kruger now crossed the finish line, followed by Martinoli and Lanzi claiming a P2. Lars gonna be the next one with a P4. Can he beat his own time? And MNT left the session. He had finished anyway. Gord's gonna cross in a P5. And R1 at D44 in P9. So that's it, folks. Bobby Valchev is the driver of the day from the game, but I will give it to uh, Lanzi for his podium, P2. Uh, I believe he was the only driver's driver without a penalty, so uh, really strong driving from him. Some uh, great battle between uh, Barry and uh, Martinoli as well. They gave a bit of action during the race. Norge Federico, congrats to Barry. Yeah, pole position. Great race from him. Have a quick look at incidents. Quite a lot of track limits. Well, uh, thank you guys for following up, and uh, I'll catch you next week. We're gonna be in Russia. Thank you. Bye-bye.